Businesses see an increase in revenue and productivity after workers come back from training. A new study shows that for every 10% of the local workforce that was reskilled, revenue was on average 0.7% higher each year. The Trade and Industry Ministry and Skills Future Singapore study also shows productivity rising more than 2% each year. Chloe Chu reports. If our driver would like to uh, learn how to manage or handle pets and they go through that training, then we can put them on a service called Grab Pets, which then enhance their income uh, earnings opportunity. Reskilling and training is a two way street. It's a common sentiment echoed by these businesses at a forum launching Skills Future Month. When a worker learns, he's able to make more money and the company performs better too. Speaking at the forum, Minister of State for Manpower, Gan Xiao Huang, says employers must support continual skills upgrading for workers to stay relevant. The path to recovery may well be long and challenging, but we are starting to see the light at the end of the tunnel. Through lifelong learning, we can work together to build stronger businesses, tighter communities and a more agile workforce, as well as a more resilient society. She says more than 7,650 firms have tapped resources such as the Skills Future Enterprise Credit and consultancy projects to reskill their workers. One company that has seen the importance of plugging the skills gap was Poon Huat. With its mainly mature workforce, there were challenges when it wanted to launch an e-commerce site amid COVID-19. That pressure, I think, lasted for about, for, for about three weeks. And then after that, it tapered off. Uh. Then the system more or less stabilised. But we still had to sort out logistic matters because it flows through to everything. So everyone was, you know, a sudden crash course to learn how to handle it. It's because of such instances that there's a special focus on helping those in their 40s and 50s. Ms Gunn says more than 11,000 locals have enrolled in the SG United skills programmes as of May and nearly 5,300 have undergone training under the Mid-Career Workers Scheme. More than 6 in 10 of those attending these training are aged 40 and above. Moving ahead, companies say there are certain skills that are vital, regardless of age. In a world where you know, the pace of change is happening so fast, I think I will encourage our job seekers to be ready to deal with ambiguity, be able to navigate through the uncertainty and yet keep your North Star clear on where you want to go. And I think that, that, that sort of uh, agility is important. He adds that having a conducive environment for learning is key. 